Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand is a fascinating place to visit. Here is my travel guide of the things that you should do and see in Chiang Mai in 2023. History. Founded in 1296 by King Mengre, Chiang Mai literally translates to new city and it became the capital of the Lana Kingdom. Surrounded by high mountains, teak forests, well stocked rivers, and fertile land, Chiang Mai was sought after by its neighbours. After centuries of defending itself for more than 200 years, large parts of what is today Northern Thailand were occupied by the Burmese. In 1774, with the support of Siam, the Burmese were finally driven out of the region. The Lana Kingdom eventually became part of Siam in the late 1800s. Get in there. Long distance travel around Thailand is comparatively cheap and depending on your budget and time, you'll be able to select the best option for you. If you're looking to travel to Northern Thailand from Bangkok, the speediest and most convenient option is likely to be one of the major budget airline flights into Chiang Mai each day. You can pick up return flights for little as 35 pounds, that's around 1,500 Thai baht, which is great value. A slower, more romantic option is the train, which takes about 11 hours. However, be warned, it isn't the most comfortable journey. I thought I would get to see passing countryside as the train made its way between Thailand's two major cities. However, the windows were filthy and I couldn't see anything. Trains in Thailand are mainly old and don't necessarily provide a pleasant travel option. A one-way trip in a second-class sleeper in an air-conditioned carriage costs around a thousand baht, that's 23 pounds or 30 US dollars. Another option well worth considering is taking a first class or VIP bus between Bangkok and Chiang Mai, which can travel overnight taking around 10 hours. It is more comfortable and cheaper than the train at just 700 baht or 16 pounds that's 21 US dollars for a one-way ticket. Getting about. Arriving in Chiang Mai, there are taxis available at the major places of entry. However, around the city, taxis are few and it is worthwhile downloading the Grab app to help you get around. If you are based centrally in the city, it is easy to walk to most places, although it can be very hot and humid. Tuk-tuks can be found outside major tourist attractions, but be prepared to haggle over the price of the journey. If you are feeling energetic, you can rent a bicycle for the day, as it is a good way of exploring the old city. If you intend to travel outside the city, then consider renting a motorbike, although ensure that you have the correct driving license and appropriate medical cover if you go down this route. If you aren't experienced or comfortable on a motorbike, then Thailand definitely isn't the place to start learning as a novice. Places to stay. Chiang Mai has a wide variety of accommodation available to visitors on all budgets. From luxury five-star resorts to backpacker hostels, Chiang Mai has great options available to enjoy your stay. Booking.com and Agoda offer excellent platforms to select accommodation to perfectly match your needs. If you are visiting the city for a few days, then a central location close to the old city offers you the best choice close to the major attractions. Places to see. Chiang Mai has plenty of Buddhist temples to explore around the old city, as well as fantastic street food and restaurant options. There is much to do in the city and a four night stay will ensure you get to see most attractions you would want to. 
It is easy to walk to many attractions in the city and Chiang Mai is also worth exploring after dark. The famous Night Bazaar opens at 6pm to midnight each day and offers plenty of stalls selling a wide range of souvenirs, clothings, craft and delicious food options. Why not kick back and relax at one of the trendy bars or enjoy a night of Muay Thai boxing? Head for the Klong Mai Ka area and take a stroll down the picturesque canal side which has recently been redeveloped offering locals opportunities to sell their goods to tourists. Chiang Mai is famous for local Lana Kingdom inspired artwork and handicrafts. Take a walk to the local markets to immerse yourself in the local culture and shop for some keepsakes of your visit to Northern Thailand. Try the local food and there are a wide range of restaurants in the city that offer tasty traditional Lana delicacies as well as much more common Thai favourites. Of course, Western food is widely available across the city for those who are less adventurous. Excursions. There are plenty of excursions that start in Chiang Mai which allow you to explore the region. My number one recommendation is to take a day trip to visit Chiang Rai, which is around three and a half hours from Chiang Mai. Situated 186 kilometers north, Chiang Rai offers some spectacular temples, visits to meet local tribes, and is a gateway to the Golden Triangle, where Thailand meets Myanmar and Laos on the Mekong River. Take an ATV tour in the countryside outside Chiang Mai. Ride a quad bike off-road along dirt tracks, fields and roads to explore the beautiful landscape with a guided tour. This adventure is well worth experiencing during your stay in Chiang Mai. Unless I'm 100% comfortable about their conservation credentials, these days I personally tend to stay away from zoos, elephant sanctuaries and snake farms. However, all of these are available in the Chiang Mai area if that's your favoured way of spending a day out. Other tours in the region worthy of consideration include Doi Inathon National Park, Grand Canyon Water Park, Maiping River Cruise, whitewater rafting or visiting one of the majestic waterfalls in the area. Golf. If you are a golf lover like me, then Chiang Mai offers some beautiful yet challenging course designs. I've personally played the 18 hole Royal Chiang Mai Resort, which costs 1,200 baht per round, excluding caddy tip. Golf in Chiang Mai is often set in the mountains with wonderful scenery, and most of the 10 golf courses are within one hour of the city. Check out golfsavers.com to arrange your tea time, club hire and transportation. Generally, you'll find the cost of goods and services in Chiang Mai to be slightly cheaper than those in Bangkok. Both cities are affordable and offer excellent street food and cultural experiences. Chiang Mai is definitely a must-visit location if you intend to see that Thailand has much more to offer the tourists than a magical and relaxing beach holiday. Come to Chiang Mai to enjoy this superb region in northern Thailand, which has so much to offer all visitors.